What's up guys, welcome to another Destiny 2 video today, so we'll be doing the legendary review of the new Marky Sword, Honor's Edge, and I, I really like this sword, it it feels good, this was actually the weapon that won the second faction rally in Season 1 of Destiny 2, so that's pretty cool, let's go, I'm pretty sure that's like the only way to get it, uh, as of right now, I don't think you'll be able to get it until the next faction rally, but let's go over the perks here, so you have adaptive frame, well-rounded and reliable, use the trigger button to launch an uppercut attack, and then you have the choice between tempered edge, increased sword damage and ammo, or Jagged Edge, increased damage at the cost of sword ammo. And then you have Burst Guard, which Sword Guard has low efficiency and high defense. And Enduring Guard, Sword Guard has high efficiency and low defense. And then finally for Straight Perk, you have On Guard, quick attacks immediately after swapping to this sword do additional damage. Now on how to obtain this weapon, I don't think another faction rally is going to happen inside of Season 1, but it is possible to earn Season 1 weapons and gear inside of Season 2. So there is a possibility of earning these weapons in Curse of Osiris coming in like a few days. So you can definitely uh, get these weapons when Curse of Osiris drops. My rating for this weapon is an 8 out of 10. And I know you're like, David, it's a sword. It's power. You don't get it a lot. Let's just go over the perks here, and I'll tell you which ones you can do, and you'll see from the gameplay that this weapon is pretty good. So first, let's go over the edge type. So I usually use tempered edge, but I definitely recommend using jagged edge. Obviously, you don't get as much ammo, but you're able to drop enemies quicker with the increased damage that you get. Like... Uh, either way, you're gonna still like in, in a PvP setting. This doesn't really matter what edge you have. Uh, I think when it comes to swords, like they're really good at taking out supers. So I guess like the more damage that you can get on this weapon, the faster you can drop somebody that has a storm collar, arc strider. It's kind of hard to take down strikers and um, oh, what is it? Sunbreakers and sentinels a little bit just because titans are made for that heavy armor but you still will be able to use this weapon in the Crucible. Next, let's choose your guard. I personally use the Enduring Guard for the higher efficiency. The only reason I would use Burst Guard is if the person uh, likes to use the sword like defense ability often. I don't really use the sword defensively. I use it more uh, offensively because I know some people like to use the block feature like a lot in the game, but, like depending, I guess depending on how you're playing, but I, I really go for the offensive. Like I don't really... I don't really use the defense. Like, if you love um, playing defensively and stuff like that, that's awesome. I usually try to do more of the offensive, stealthy gameplay, and that seems to work. I guess, like, a high risk, high reward, uh, so to speak. So, lastly, let's go over the trait perk on guard. And it's really good in a pinch. Like, that's what on guard is made for. You can do more damage when you whip it out. But I feel it's not utilized as much as other sword trait perks. Like, the raid sword, every three hits, you get more sword ammo. Like, that is the, one of the best, like, perks you can get on a sword. And considering when people are using a sword, it's out before you approach an engagement anyway. I usually pull the sword out. I don't pull the sword out last minute. I usually pull it out, crouch around a corner, and wait for somebody to come so I can just get them. Like, the only time on guard would be good is, like, if, like, a super's coming after you or somebody's chasing you with last hope or something like that. Like, yeah, you can probably get on guard to proc for, like, one or two enemies maybe. Like, if you whip it out and somebody, like, people are trying to wrap around a corner and get you. But the chance of you actually having the time for this perk to proc are very small. So, overall, I really like this sword. I guess I'm, like... Retrospect, I like all swords in D2, especially when it's paired with Devour and Blink, or uh, the Night Stalker Invisibilities, like those are really good things to do. Uh, Titans, I can't really recommend anything other than just maybe Ward of Dawn. Ward of Dawn in a sword is good because people are going to try to uh, go in there and take you out, and all you have, you have armor and light on, like, you can destroy anybody. Actually, in the gameplay, I actually take down an Arc Strider with the sword. Like, they pop it around the corner, they come in, I just uppercut, and then the other guys follow, and they're like, oh, what happened to that Arc Strider? completely just melted him and then took those other guys out there so swords have a high risk high reward factor i think and i think it takes a lot more skill to use a sword than a rocket launcher am i right so if you main swords in pvp i respect you like the most for that because everything that i see lately is rocket launchers like rocket launchers are the easiest thing to use inside of destiny 2 right now and if you use swords uh, I guess like shotguns or fusions or anything like it. stuff that's not easy to use even grenade launcher grenade launcher is probably the hardest and there's only one good grenade launcher anyway uh, for PvP sakes, but if you use swords awesome I, And I highly recommend using this sword if you don't have this sword I definitely just I definitely try out a sword the warlock sword is pretty good if you're on warlock um, The hunter exclusive sword is really good on the hunter if you like I, it's like a samurai sword Which is kind of cool, but uh, if you get any other swords like if you pre-ordered uh, the limited edition and you got that one Oh, what's that one sword called? I know, I forget what it is. It's like, it's like a uh, Cabal theme, Trader's Fate. So if you have that sword, that sword works well too. Like, I, I just highly recommend using swords, man. They're super, super fun in my opinion. All right, guys, if you're a community, join, definitely go on the link below. Say join the clan. All you have to do is press on the link. We'll press to join the clan. Then me and the PS4 admin uh, will let you in. We're really looking for some people in that in-game area, Trials of the Nine. 
uh, the raid content. We want to do stuff like that so everybody in the clan can get it. We're multi-platform, Xbox, PS4, and PC. So if you're on any of those platforms, come over. We're rank six. We have enough people to hit rank six again in season two very early on. And the way I see it is that if you're with a clan, a smaller clan, and one of two things is you guys are rank six, but people aren't playing. And number two, if you, if like, you don't have enough people in your clan like if you only have five people in your clan you're not going to hit the max rank uh to get those extra clan bonuses just come over to the clan your whole clan can come over to the clan for all i care like we're open to anybody joining also comment you guys want to see below i'm making content for you guys so if you see you want to see a weapon review um some live comms i did my destiny one live com i hit some really good clips there definitely let me know in the comment section below what you guys want to see and the best way to support me is liking videos, subscribing to the channel, sharing videos, and turning on the notification bell if you want me to know if I want to drop some new content on the channel. But anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. We'll catch you next time.